Hey guys, I'm going to go over lessons five and six homework uh, for tonight because we've combined the two lessons. Um, and so we're going to do one page from each homework. So on lesson five, um, this looks a little complicated if you weren't in class today, but let me just kind of explain it. So basically, we're finding equivalent fractions by taking a fraction that's already on there and splitting it more. So for example, the shaded part looks like half. But then when I split the rest of the rectangle into three rows, like it asks me to, the half you can now see is the same thing as three six. Because if I count, there's six boxes and three of them take up the same space as half. So one half is equal to three six. So that's what I filled out over here on the side, which as we've learned is the same thing as saying one six plus one six plus one six. And it's also the same, th same thing as saying one half equals three times one six equals three six. So I'm just writing it three different ways. It sounds a little redundant, but it's good to keep in that practice so when you see it, it works. Um, here on the second one, we have, we're starting off with a fourth and it's asking us to split it into two rows. So I'm gonna split it horizontally down the middle. And now we have one fourth now looks like two eighths. So it's equivalent to two eighths because it takes up the same amount of space. And I can rewrite that as an addition problem. So I could say one fourth equals one eighth plus one eighth equals two eighths. Or I could say one fourth equals two times one eighth equals two eighths. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing down here. Looks like I already, let's use a different color just for fun easier to see. Let's use this orange. Okay, so uh, this is one fourth because one out of the four pieces and it's asking me to split into four rows. So I'm going to do half and then split those halves in half. So they're not perfect but I have four rows. So one fourth is equal to, if I were to count all these boxes, I'm going to get 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So it's something out of 16 and if you count 1, 2, 3, 4 of the 16 are in the one fourth. So one fourth is equivalent to four sixteenths. I could write this as an addition equation. One fourth equals one sixteenth plus one sixteenth plus one sixteenth plus one sixteenth, which is equal to four sixteenths. Or I could write it as one fourth equals four times one sixteenth, which is equal to four sixteenths. Okay, now we're gonna move on to lesson six, um, and we're just gonna do the first page here. Now this is gonna look really complicated like the last time, but you see all that middle stuff in the middle that I'm about to cross out? I don't want you to worry about it because right now I want you to focus on just understanding what we're doing with the equivalent fraction. So I'm gonna cross all that out. Don't worry about that. All I'm worried about is you splitting it and figuring out this part and this part. That's all I want, okay? Um, so here, instead of it telling us how many rows, it's saying I'm starting off with two-fifths, but I want to know what it is in tenths. And so I know it's already done it for us, but fifths, if I split those fifths in half, I'll get tenths because that's double the number. And if you look, four of those tenths take up the same space as the two-fifths. And then down here, I can write it as two-fifths equals four times one-tenth, which is equal to four-tenths, similar to what we just did, just skipping the addition part. Okay, we're not concerned about all the middle stuff. All right here, I'm starting off with two fourths and it wants to know what is that equivalent to an eighths. Well, if I split this rectangle in half, voila, I have eight pieces. So I know that two fourths is equal to, well, let's count, one, two, three, four. There's four eighths that take up the same area as those two fourths. And then I'm gonna prove it with this multiplication equation, two fourths equals four times one eighth, which is equal to four eighths. All right, guys, if you have questions, let me know. See you tomorrow.